Hello and welcome to another little uh, tutorial video. Uh, this time, uh, since it comes up reasonably frequently on Discord and the forums, uh, I thought we'd have a look at uh, how we would export uh, your uh, information or your uh, creations uh, into uh, a module. Uh, so the first thing that we would do if we're going to be creating stuff and exporting to a module is to actually start a brand new campaign um, and create all your uh, items and NPCs and story entries and whatever else you're going to be doing in that one campaign uh, and then export from that campaign and then use the module uh, that you exported in another campaign um, rather than uh, using everything from the same campaign that you're exporting from. Um, and the reason for doing that is, that, well, there's various reasons really, but the, ma the main one is that you can always then come back to your creation campaign um, and you can edit things in there and then re-export uh, to the same module uh, uh, so that you can add information as you go. Um, so this is what we've done here. We've started a, a brand new campaign um, and just to save time, I have actually created a, a little module here. And if we go into uh, the story tab, um, then we've already got some uh, story entries in here. Um, and if we can see, if we open up the story entry, we've got various uh, links. Uh, we've got a, a link to a map. Uh, we've got our map uh, is all uh, linked up to the story entries. The story entries themselves have got encounters. Uh, already prepared and I've also got uh, treasure parcels as well and we've uh, created some uh, items uh, for those treasure parcels. So really we've done all the work here um, everything is ready to go uh, we want to be able to run this adventure now and so we want to uh, export it. Now there's a couple of things before we go any further um, the uh, first thing would be that uh, if you uh, Hawkeye noticed uh, there that I'd uh, changed some uh, tokens for example uh, for these goblins I've also uh, changed their name uh, to greenskins and whatever um, so these are all edited from the uh, monster manual and I didn't want to re use the tokens from the monster manual, I wanted to use uh, my own tokens. So in order to make sure that these tokens get exported with the module, um, what you need to do is you need to go into your uh, campaign uh, folder um, and you need to create a folder within your campaign uh, called tokens. Uh, all lowercase, just exactly as it's shown there. Um, and then you drop uh, your tokens that you want to be using into that folder. So these are the tokens that I've just put into this folder. Um, and when you then go to your tokens folder down here, you will find that there is a bag here called campaign. And if we open that up, you'll see that these are the tokens that we put into that folder in the campaigns folder. So this means that we can now use these tokens and in order for them to export properly and to link properly to the NPCs you must actually use these tokens here that are in the folder uh, called tokens within the campaign folder. So if we open up one of our NPCs here um, we can see that we've already given it one of these tokens but if we didn't like that one and wanted to give it another one uh, then we can just drag the token from that token bag drop it on the NPC and you'll have uh, the token there, there. And of course you can do the same if you wanted to make a different token uh, for the uh, encounter. Uh, then again you can just uh, edit the encounter and uh, drop the appropriate token onto the encounter there. So all of this will get exported and all the links will stay the same provided you put, uh, you put all your tokens into the tokens module within the campaign. And the second thing that you may have noticed that I've done here is that I've created um, for all of the bits, I've created a group uh, for each of my uh, stories um, and my encounters and all the rest of it. And I've just created this, I uh, called it my adventure just for simplicity. And everything that I've created is in the same uh, group. Uh, now I haven't done that for uh, NPCs, no I haven't done that for items yet, just so that I can show you how it's done. Uh, so we expand this uh, bit at the top here and you'll get the brown edit button. 
we click on edit groups and then on the green button we get a new group um, which we will just uh, call the same uh, give it a name stop editing and we now have a group called my adventure and with uh, all of this open we simply just drag these items into the my adventure group and there we have it the uh, items are now uh, in there so if we go to my adventure we can see that these are our items so that keeps everything nice and neat and when you export the uh, groups will export with the with the module and when you open it up in another uh, uh, campaign uh, the groups will be retained and you'll be able to find all the information for this particular adventure um, in uh, that particular campaign so that's good practice so uh, we're Basically, we're ready to export now, so we need to come down to our chat window and just type in forward slash export and press return and we will get the module export uh, dialog box. And we really just need to fill this in with whatever information we need. Um, obviously, we need a file name, so uh, let's call it my adventure. The thumbnail is optional, um, but obviously it's nice to have a thumbnail um, so that it, otherwise the, the thumbnail would be just be blank. So we just click this box here, which opens up your standard uh, window or standard um, uh, navigation window. And if we go to where we have put our thumbnail, uh, which I think is in here, here we go, uh, and we just click on the thumbnail. Now the thumbnail itself, generally it's a PNG file uh, and it's usually it's just called thumbnail, but it doesn't really matter in this, you can call it whatever you like, but thumbnail.png is, is what the standard would be. Uh, and then you can uh, call the uh, uh, module by name, uh, whatever uh, you would like. Uh, I'll just stick to my adventure. Um, and then we need a category again this is optional uh, but we'll call it an adventure since that's what it is and you can uh, add your uh, own name to it and there you are um, now these next two buttons uh, read only and player module if what you're exporting is going to be a player only module or is going to be available to players then you can tick that box um, this really here is a special thing and you're probably unlikely ever to use it, so leave that uh, unticked. Um, but if this is something that you want to automatically share with your players, then uh, tick uh, this box. Otherwise, uh, leave it uh, as it is. And in this case, we're creating an adventure, so the players obviously aren't going to see the adventure, so we don't want to tick that uh, little checkbox. And then we come down to the data that we need to or want to export. And if we expand this, we can see that basically everything that we can see here um, on the right hand side as a button um, is present here. And we just really need to go down and tick all the boxes uh, or, the, or all the options that we want to, to export. Now we don't have any backgrounds, classes, effects, etc. But we do have encounters. So we're going to tick encounters because we know we have got some. Uh, we don't have feet or anything like that. Now we do have an image because we've got our little map here. Um, and you can click uh, on the images and maps and that will export everything. If for some reason or other you had half a dozen maps here uh, or half a dozen images and you only really wanted to export just this one, um, then you can just drag and drop and it will show you that it's uh, going to export that map. Now, it, it, I um, don't have anything else here, so clicking that uh, button would have done exactly the same thing. But just for illustrative purposes, it is possible to drag and drop things um, so you can be more selective as to what you're exporting. Uh, you don't need to export the entire thing, just what you want. Um, and we've also got some items, uh, we've got NPCs, we've got partials, we don't have quests, regenerated or pre-generated characters or anything like that, and we do have stories. Uh, and we don't have anything else that we've uh, got. So we just make sure that we've got everything uh, that we want to export, and then we simply just click the export button. And you'll see there in the chat box, it tells us that the module 
has been exported successfully. Now we want to check that obviously, um, and we can't do it from within here because if we go to library now and search for the module it won't show because modules are only loaded when Fantasy Grounds actually starts. So we need to exit the program and then we need to uh, uh, come back into uh, Fantasy Grounds and we do not want to check um, that our uh, we don't want to check the exported module in the same module that we created it in. We want to check it in a different module um, because otherwise we'll get duplicates of everything and we won't know what's actually in the campaign and what's in the module. So we've got another uh, campaign here which we can start up now and then we can try and find our module uh, and see whether or not everything is exported as we uh, thought it would be. Uh, so into our library, uh, module activation, uh, and just do a search, and here we go, my adventure, we can see the thumbnail has come in properly, load the module, uh, go to our library, and everything seems to be there, click on story, story 1, our map is there, our stories are all there, everything is as it should be. And if we go to uh, Encounters, we can see that our um, thumb, the, our uh, tokens have come, a, come out as well. And if we go to our token bag, uh, we can see that the tokens uh, that we used um, have been exported. Um, so uh, that's it really. Um, everything uh, looks fine. Uh, and that is in essence how we would uh, export uh, information to a module. Um, now, if you wanted, as I say, to go back and edit that, then you would go back to your original um, campaign, you would do your edits in there, and then export again, just in exactly the same way, and it would overwrite that module, and you would open up the uh, module in another campaign, and you would see your, your edits come through. Now, one thing that some people have difficulty getting a hang of in a way is that um, we now have this module in a new campaign. So if we open the story entry, for example, um, and we change something in the story entry, uh, let's suppose we edit it and we don't like this uh, text box. Uh, so, uh, you know, let's just get rid of the text box altogether uh, from here. And, uh, and that's it. We've done away with that text box. Now, by doing that, uh, by doing that edit, um, if we were to um, go back into our original campaign and re-export our module, then when we open up the campaign here in our new uh, campaign, uh, story one is going to, this, this bit here is going to overwrite the information in the module. Uh, this is because edited text or anything that you edit in a campaign stays in the campaign. So if you have edited something in a campaign, um, and then try and, and go back to your original re-export, etc. Then you will find that any edits will have been retained in the campaign that you open the module in. If you were to create a second new uh, campaign and open up your module in that, then you wouldn't see the edits that you've got in this campaign. So that's just a point to, to note that if you want to edit something, then do it in your original campaign and not in the campaign that you're actually using it in. Uh, so I think that's it. Uh, it's all fairly straightforward, really. Um, and uh, so bye-bye for now. Cheers.